Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I sure appreciate you stopping by and you got here just in time. That's right, just in time for another campground visit. And as you saw from the, the title, I'm out in East Texas. I'm on Wright Patman Lake. It's just right out there. Clear, Clear Springs Park, Wright Patman Lake. This is a Corps of Engineer campground. I gotta tell you, I'm, I'm really impressed. So far, I'm really impressed. Let's do a site review real quick. And then I gotta eat some lunch. We're in site number B5. B5, and it is, as with most of our COE, Corps of Engineer campgrounds, it's an asphalt pad. You gotta watch out for that big pine tree when you come, because there's a lot of big pine trees, by the way, but you gotta specifically watch out for this one and make sure you have enough room for your slide. 30, 50, and water. And then there's another big pine tree you gotta be cognizant of. The site is fairly, fairly unlevel. And it doesn't look like it, but it it's really low here on this side. That wheel is actually just, the front wheel is just about that far off the ground. So we have a concrete picnic table, a fire ring, charcoal grill, and a actually a two plank wide cooking table. That's cool, that's new, but I don't know how we're gonna camp. We don't have a, we don't have a lantern hook. It's missing. I guess I'll just have to make do without it. Let's talk about what's gonna happen on the channel here over the next several weeks. I'm gonna visit three campgrounds on Wright Patman Lake one a day for the next three days and then i'm going to wrap it up by going back by lake of the pines because i missed a campground there so over the next four weeks may actually be five weeks we're going to be exploring east texas every sunday morning so make sure you click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of these beautiful campgrounds we're visiting here in east texas all right i'm gonna eat some lunch deploy little red and then we'll go see some east texas stuff right patman lake so i'm i'm at i'm at the end of the road here i'm at the end of the campground road and i'm i'm starting out here because i think it's important to share this with you because it happened to me uh, i i missed my turn I missed my turn and I got all the way down here. I was looking at the map like, well, surely there'll be a place to turn around. Uh, there's, you can do a three point turn here. So if you're towing your, a car, make sure you wrap a bungee cord around the steering wheel. That way you can back it up if you miss your turn. All right, let's talk about some stuff. You like to play basketball? Well, they got you covered. And they really got you covered if you like to play volleyball, because this is uh, one of at least two that I've seen all the way down here at the end of the road. So the Loop A is currently under construction or re renovation they're renovating loop a and they're actually putting in concrete pads so perhaps next summer if you are well it's uh the end of june 2022 so when you come out here in 23 or beyond you'll get to have some, some fresh concrete level pads. All right, let's go see some more stuff. So if you're coming out to Wright Patman Lake, 
and you're bringing the kiddos and they've had too much sugar and you don't want to take them swimming well good news you can bring them down here and let them play until they are exhausted and you can sit and relax and read a great book under these beautiful beautiful pine trees ha! how cool is that if you're looking for a place in the piney woods to host a group gathering a family reunion Clear Spring Park has got you covered. Look at this. I think this must have been built by the CCC. It sure has that appearance. Or it was built in the reminiscent style of the CCC with the big fireplace. And they even have a volleyball court just for the group gatherings. Right there. And better yet, oh, there's more. And wait, there's more. How about a dedicated swim beach? I, I, this, this was hidden. I didn't even know this was here. So now you'll know. All right, let's go see some more Clear Spring stuff. I don't, I, I, I don't understand. I, I just don't, I don't. That has all the hallmarks of a, of a dump station. Ah, uh, it's a Blue Boy dump station. All right, that makes sense. So you don't have to transport your your gray water tank all the way down to the dump station, you can dump it right here. That's pretty handy. It's right next to the showers, right across the street from the, the group pavilion. All right, let's go see some more of Clear Spring. You're coming out to Clear Spring Park, right Patman Lake. There, there are maybe a couple of ways to get into the campground here, but the way I came in off of, I think it was 67, there's a railroad track crossing. Go slow. It is so crowned. I bumped my jacks. And thank God I put that two inch lift on there because cause it was just, I don't know. I, there's a big class A in here. I don't know how they got across that. The 40, 40, foot, 40 plus foot class A. This is cool. This, this is a group loop. A group camping loop with a captive parachute. That's not what's cool. That is cool because it gives shade, but uh, I think this, this dedicated loop, it's not just a big circle with plugs. They're actual campsites. And there's a building. A bug-free building. And there's restrooms in there too. If you need a, need a place for your group event, Clear Spring got you covered. The big old cooker. For my boat ramp fans, you'll be happy to know they got you covered here at, at Clear Spring. Big boat ramp. It's actually just really a one laner, but you can fit two boats, two trucks in there. And then a courtesy dock. Now looking at the satellite images of the the lake, right Patman Lake. This this is a this will be a great kayaker, uh, actually just a great boating experience all the way around. But a lot of, a lot of little channels and creek. Now they have three screen cabins, screen shelters. The other two are occupied, so we're gonna look at the one that's not occupied uh, for a good reason. So a little wind damage happened here. So they do have ceiling fans. 
and shutters. So I guess you could bring a portable AC unit and cool it off. And if you didn't have to worry about breaking your ankle, you've got a great deck. I mean, look at the view. <laughs> such a such a cool lake. All right, let's go find some more cool stuff. Let's go see some more clear spring stuff. So if you happen to catch some fish while you're camping at Clear Spring Campground, they have a state-of-the-art fish cleaning station for your pleasure. Although, it does look a little, little worn, a little tired. All right, let's go find some more stuff. I just love the East Texas Piney Wood Campgrounds. And, and this one is definitely moving to the top of the of the list for really beautiful campground. It's a really beautiful Corps of Engineer campground for sure. But you're gonna want to tune in this coming Thursday so you can see the, the scooter tour and, and you'll get to see the the whole Monty! You get to see all of Clear Spring Campground. All right, let's go find some more stuff. So, Clear Spring, Clear Spring Campground has something that's, that I'm, I'm really, I'm really surprised to find. They have a couple of nature trails that look like they're very well maintained. Well, here after after we see all the stuff, I'm gonna go do some scooter runs, do some trail rides, go see some nature stuff. All right, let's go find something else to look at. So when you see one of these signs, it shows a truck and railroad tracks. Be very, very careful. You can tear off your landing gear. Adjacent to Clear Springs, which is over there, on the other side of this little cove, is, is North Shore Park. It's a day use area. It has a very spacious beach. Lots of beach. And if you're into, if you like volleyball, <laughs> there's more volleyball nets. If you've got little kids, there's a playground, play structure. There's a basketball court back up there. There's a horseshoe pits up there. So this is your day use lake paradise, North Shore Park. All right, let's go find some more stuff. <laughs> Somebody not happy. So this was identified on Google as North Shore Landing. So we were just at North Shore day use area and that little picnic table right there is at the very point of North Shore Park. We're going to walk out here on the, the North Shore Landing jetty and have a look see. I just mess around. I've come out here, uh, what's this, my fifth time? Oh, right there. They're liking this cool north wind. Well, enjoy yourself and good luck on fishing. Hey, Alright, so we need to go find some more Wright Patman stuff. This visit to Clear Springs Park and Lake Wright Patman is sponsored by K 
campgroundviews.com. Welcome to your secret weapon to finding the perfect campsite. Campground virtual tours are here, they're real, and they're available for you. Have you ever been to Joshua Tree National Park? We have now. You're in Jumbo Rocks Campground, the most popular campground within that national park, and you're taking a look around. You're seeing the roads, you're seeing the sites, you're seeing how far away that restroom is from those sites. Details never before available to you as a camper are at your fingertips right now. You can even enter the dates of your stay. I'm gonna be there on September 14th. You enter that date, hit confirm, and your map will update showing you which sites are green and available for your stay. Click on them and jump up to and take a look at that particular campsite. Is this one right for you? If it is, that's a pretty cool spot, isn't it? If it is, click on it, click book, and there you go. You can book that campsite right now. Campground virtual tours are available, as noted, for over 860 locations all across the United States. Go to campgroundviews.com, click on the virtual tours tab, and you'll see all the tours we have available right now. Note there's pages. Simply click on the pages to load more results, and it'll update the map and the listings below with the different campgrounds we have available. If you want to go by state, click the regions tab, and you can easily go to the various states that we currently have tours available of campgrounds all over the place. The campground virtual tours are a game-changing experience and we invite you to join now by going to campgroundviews.com, clicking on join and signing up today. The little link is right up there. Lake Wright Patman. We are right at the dam. I forget the name of this. It's a long, <laughs> it's, it's a bit of drive down to this from the, when you turn on, it's about two miles back up to the anyway it's it's a good drive down here but it is so pretty down here and there's not any not any weird people hanging out it'd be a great place to put a hook in the water right there all right let's go find some more Wright Patman stuff if you're a birder and you're coming out to Wright Patman Lake you'll be happy to know They've been thinking about you. This is a birder platform. It's on the north side of the lake, below the dam. You can see the dam right there. Not much of a vantage point with all the brush. All right, let's go find some more Wright Patman stuff. Too. Slept like a baby last night. Mr. Haddock, it was a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I sure appreciate you stopping by and saying hello. Thank you so much for watching. And a gentleman that was from South Africa, if you're watching, I'm sorry I, 
I, I, your name is just, just gone. I want to say Bob, but I know that's not right. So, I hope you were able to complete your journey and make it to Tennessee. And It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance and, and have a conversation with you. Safe travels, my friend. All right, for the rest of you, let's talk about Clear Springs Park. It's a pretty park. You know, it's, it's getting harder and harder to, to, to identify the, the parks that are the great ones uh, and, uh, versus the good ones. It's easy to identify one that you don't want to go back to. Clear Springs is one of those that I certainly want to go back to or, or want to come back to. Clear Springs is one of those Corps of Engineer campgrounds that you, you, how can you go wrong if you're coming here with your RV? Such a pretty campground. And for a Corps of Engineer campground, I gotta tell you, this one is very well maintained. It's probably one of the, the better maintained COE campgrounds I've been to. There's hardly any litter anywhere. Uh, the campsites are all in excellent condition. Now, granted, some people are leaving trash in the fire ring rather than taking it uh, 100 yards to the dumpster. But all in all, there's not litter all over the shoreline. Uh, there's, there's only one one detractor i mean the, the there's there's no road noise well yeah, there's a little there's a little road noise but the air conditioners cover that up train track that i bottomed out on yesterday uh, there's that's a very active rail line there's a lot of trains and they have to blow their horn at that crossing and in certain parts of the campground, you hear it more than in others. Where I'm set up here, you barely hear that train horn. Over by the A loop, it's louder. And over by the boat ramp, it's louder. I, I guess that's just some, some unique thing of nature that it's funneling into those places more than it is here. But what, even even with the train horn, it, it's it's not a it's not happening so much that it's a, an interruption. And if you're as, if you're tired and exhausted from a hard day of playing, you're gonna sleep through it. But that's the only real detractor for Clear Springs Campground that I can find. There's a lot of lot of lot of lot of positive. A lot of good reasons to come visit this campground right, and, I, and that pretty well sums it up it's a pretty campground how can you how can you not want to camp here so from here after breakfast and another pot of coffee i'm gonna move move us over to the south shoreline and we're gonna pay a visit to piney point park but we're gonna be just on the other side of, of the overflow for uh, the next video. And we're gonna explore all that there is to explore there before we move on down the shoreline to the next campground. And if you've not already, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. We just passed 16,000. And for those of you who have subscribed, thank you for that. I, I, I just can't believe that it, we're moving right along like that. Thank you. I, I, I truly appreciate it. And for my patrons, it is most appreciated. Thank you. You guys rock. All right. Y'all come back now, you hear?